Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Monocopes' Tarot. If whether you're returning or you're new here, I want you to know that you're very welcome. Okay. If you're new, thank you for stopping by. I hope that you'll be comfortable. I hope that you will ultimately subscribe to the channel. Okay, if you're returning, I want to thank you for your continued support, likes, comments, shares, subscription, and donations to the channel. Um, they are greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general message for my Scorpios, okay, for the Scorpio Collective. Um, if you're interested in a personal message from me, by me, that information and options, um, all of that is listed in the description box, okay, as well as my email address to reach out for other business-related reasons. Okay, scramble, scramble, scramble. <laughs> Messages for Scorpio, please. Starting with some chakra oracle cards, we're going to clarify with the tarot and then get a moonology oracle at the end for more um, advice and guidance. What message do you have please for Scorpio here? What's going on for Scorpio this week? Once again, thank you guys for being here. It's greatly appreciated not just to get views on YouTube, but for those who need to see my messages, those who I'm connecting with, those who um, I'm here in this realm to influence in some way. Um, I'm happy to have you here, not just so that you view my video. I'm happy to have you here because this message is for you. Period. Okay. <laughs> All right. Miracle. Okay, all right, camera. <laughs> Solar plexus chakra here in the miracle card. This is, of course, about something happening in our space. Maybe even a moment of enlightenment, okay? Solar plexus chakra speaks to the way that we think and perceive things. Um, this could be an aha moment of, uh, you know, maybe I should do this thing as far as career is concerned, or I should go after this person that I've been wanting um, all this time. Getting kind of star card energy vibes here and judgment card mixed together in one. But what we see here in the miracle card is something new coming forth that you sort of don't expect, okay? Yeah, here it is in the heart chakra perception. Um, for some of you, this is a person coming through here who you don't necessarily expect that you would be attracted to is what I'm getting. Um, this perception card, though, and in the area of the heart chakra, uh, this is someone who begins to perceive love differently, perceive themselves differently, possibly look at a situation that's occurred in the past differently and, um, and be able to offer someone forgiveness or offer someone a truce of some sort. There's transformation within this card, um, transformation in your, in your perception. There's absolutely an emotional attachment here um, for someone, okay? This could also um, be uh, an awakening, like I was saying, within the miracle card, an awakening to what um, you're passionate about, okay? Or, or um, that's what it feels like, what or who you're passionate about, let's see. Impasse, but here you are at an impasse, <laughs> trying to figure it out. What do I want? What do I want? This is the um, sacral chakra, okay? Impasse is, of course, that energy of um, similar to the hangman, <laughs> okay, trying to uh, figure things out, <laughs> okay, Try, really trying to figure things out, not knowing what to do, what to say, where to go, uh, who to ask, okay, it's just like not moving. And the sacral chakra, um, as many of you know, speaks on um, the desires. There's a lot of desire here, okay? 
the desires of the heart and the, those deep down desires that that um, that we want for ourselves in order to feel safe, secure, and fulfilled. Okay, that's the gist of it. All right, let's clarify. Let me see what else is happening. All right, and Scorpio, if this is your message, don't forget to like the video, hit that thumbs up for me. Talk to me about this miracle card, please. <sighs> What's this miracle card? What's the miracle? What is the meaning of this? <laughs> What is this? Knight of Coins in the reverse. With the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Coins. And they that King of Wands in the reverse. Yeah. And here's this inaction. You know, that that is the King of Wands in the reverse. Um you also have the Knight of Coins in the reverse, which which is an indication sometimes of, of laziness or, um, you know, lack of willpower, lack of belief in self. Okay. Um, Knight of Coins in the reverse is... Uh, this is someone who doesn't believe in their vision. Um, and there's the Queen of Wands even in the reverse as well. For someone here, this may be relevant. Um, this message may be relevant to a speaking to a relationship or even a business partnership. King and Queen of Wands are, very, are a very attractive couple. Um, and like I was saying earlier, I feel like for someone here, this has to do with your perception of love or, or how you perceive um, an opportunity of some sort yeah there's the lovers um in this particular deck you guys there are four lovers cards um the creator suggests that you take three out pick one that most resonates with you i chose to pick all four so they're all in here <laughs> because to me they speak to different things and in different ways um this one for me is a more mature relationship. There's a lot of love here, a lot of passion here. Um, I, I feel like um, in the beginning of this, it was very passionate, very, um, a lot of like, um, um, like I said, the king and queen of wands, you know, that that is two people who are very much attracted to each other sexually, physically, intellectually. Um, there was, there was, there was some kind of um, passionate relationship here, but here's the magician in the reverse. Okay, indicating some kind of manipulative behavior or abuse of power, um, especially with that King of Wands in the reverse. Um, for some of you, this could be a romantic relationship. This could also be some kind of job offer that um, that you're thinking over or, or a business opportunity that you're thinking over because you feel as though there's an element here um, like I said with that miracle card, it feels like an element of surprise, okay? Like you're expecting the worst in a situation or in a person. Yeah, Nine of Cups is in the reverse as well. Feeling as though this thing isn't going to fulfill you emotionally or isn't going to anymore, okay? For some of you, for those of you who this is already um, occurring in your space. Talk to me about the perception card, please. Also be someone in your energy who like I said is being stubborn and um, I don't know if I said that out loud actually <laughs> but I feel it in that impasse card um, 
as well as the king of wands in the reverse i mean that is a stubborn energy that's someone who is um stuck in their ways unwilling to um take action king of wands in the reverse someone who is is not passionate about something king of wands in the reverse can be very angry as well i feel like this person does want to offer something to you but there's hesitancy okay for some reason i mean maybe you're in the midst of trying to change their perspective on a situation yeah we have the sun there's um like i said with that perception card there's some sense of enlightenment here okay an ability to look at a situation or look at a relationship in a different way the sun card is a masculine energy sun card is also representative of a, a happy relationship yeah queen of cups okay queen of cups is mutual love and i feel like somebody here is wanting to either come in or come back in um um and offer you a, a, a different perspective of sorts. Yeah, the world card's here in the reverse, okay? Someone doesn't want this to be over. Um, and for those of you who this is speaking on a, a business situation or <clears throat> a work situation, I feel like um, there's a need here for you to kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel or, or the 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 light within the situation, um, you know, figure out what it is within that situation that actually does bring you joy and kind of build off of that, okay? To, to have a new um, perspective in a situation is what I'm willing to say, okay? Yeah, the devil in the reverse here. Mm -mm -mm. With the seven of coins. Yeah, for some of you, this is um, a situation that you have, um, I'm wanting to say endured, which is a pretty heavy word to use, um, but for some time now, okay, with that seven of coins and the, and the devil card in the reverse, it's like realizing that um, something is, is no longer for you or where you need to be. That's, that is... Um, absolutely coming through heavily so for the impasse card we have the page of wands in reverse which you know as we already saw with the king of wands in reverse there's some kind of dying passion here okay the impasse card is um that sacral chakra to where we look um, you know, into our, our, our deepest desires and figure out what is best for us, you know, where we'll feel most safe, most fulfilled emotionally, um, especially. A lot of emotions here on the, on the table, yeah. And as I say that, here's the moon. Okay. This full moon may very well bring some kind of news to you that you're not too... Um, excited about not gonna lie okay i'm gonna clarify that page of wands further and just see if we can get some more information but what i'm seeing here is um some like a conversation of some sort or an offer of some sort that comes in that is not quite your cup of tea or that um you're like i, I need some time to think about this before i move forward um you know, I need some time to, to, to weigh my options kind of thing. Tell me, please. Okay. <laughs> the magician came jumping out. Tell me, please, about the page of wands in the reverse. Yeah. Yeah, we saw the magician that came out um, earlier in this deck that I'm shuffling now. I don't um, do reversals. Magician came out in the reverse earlier, though, with that King of Wands in the reverse. Um, there's some kind of man uh, manipulative or, like I said, abuse of power um, going on here. And then we have the Prince of Cups. 
page of uh, excuse me the the knight of cups here is an emotional offer an emotional change and so i feel like with with whatever this communication is here it may take everything in you uh, but i feel like whatever this communication is here is going to cause you to kind of turn the other way or, or or turn your cheek here okay yeah, three of cups to the four of cups. There's something better out there for me. And that is, in fact, the ace of wands. Okay. All right. That was loud. All right. What monology oracle is relevant here for my beautiful Scorpios? heard an offer you can't refuse but I feel like it's like a representative of whatever manipulative tactics are being used in this situation by the other person okay if that makes any sense it's it was like literally in the voice of one of those um, car salesman commercials that's what it felt like like the phony uh, I just need to sell this thing kind of energy you're very close to achieving your goal give us moon so whatever it is that you're working on here scorpio i wouldn't be concerned about this person's energy or whatever this um bogus bullshit offer is here you have the ace of pentacles you have the miracle card whoever this is that's trying to intervene this king of wands energy this manipulative um uh deceitful trying to bring you down um kind of thing please pay them no mind Okay, that's what I want to say. So Scorpio, this is the message I have for you today. I hope that it helps in your decision making moving forward. Please don't forget to like this video, share the love, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time for the next one. Bye.